Confucius say RNG clutch kits will suck in the mud yeah. because I use light weights and springs. Just proving their theory is bullshit. but it still burns off. Hey, I just Here. wanted to let everybody know that the Sunday boys <laughs> said RNG clutch kits will suck in the mud because I use light weights. Well, light weights reduce belt heat, just saying. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You're not going to want to miss this one. Today, we take my baby girl, Sadie, my baby right there, we take her mudding on the wheeler, dude. She loves she loves riding. I know a lot of you have seen pictures on Facebook, me putting her on the four wheelers and all that stuff. And I even have some older videos of her wheeling. I thought, you know what? It's time to do some new stuff. So we got a lot of cool footage for this video. You guys ain't gonna wanna miss it. We show you how well RNG clutch kits do in the mud. If you're looking for a kit, message me on facebook that's how you get them you gotta message me because i need to know your tire size your riding style the machine you have etc etc message me on there and i'll get you a kit without further ado guys let's get into the video
Isn't that a blast, guys? We had tons of fun. There's a razor. There's a lot of people out there. I tried not to video them because they were being loud uh, with music wise. And you know what music does on YouTube. But man, we rode with uh, Dirt Trail Adventures here on YouTube. I'll tag his channel if it'll let me. I'm not sure if it will or not. But he got some footage that I didn't. So you'll have some new stuff over there to see. His name's TJ. He rode with us all day. Had fun. Hopefully he can get out of there. I don't know where he's at, but yeah, guys, it was a blast. Sadie girl had fun riding and mudding and getting dirty. And well, we broke a couple of CF motos. The 950, I uh, didn't like the bigger tires. Those were only 30s, but it didn't like the bigger tires and knocked out a inner tie rod and took it out. Um, and Laura broke an axle, brand new axle on her 500. And uh, well. What happened with that is somewhere along the lines we tore a hole in the boot. And when I noticed it, I, I repaired it. Um, but I think, and it was a hillbilly repair. And I think uh, it's still letting water in because that axle's clicking. It may or may not be savable. I don't know. I'm going to have to pull it out of there, pull it apart, and see. But nonetheless, she needs another new axle. That axle ain't got but maybe 400 miles on it maybe and most of it's road miles so is what it is but it's part of riding and having fun we love it i sure hope you guys like this one leave me a big old thumbs up hit that subscribe button click that bell i want to thank you guys for watching god bless you leave me a comment down below what you think of the videos and what you'd like to see Peace out.